everybody. I am back to talk to you guys uh, about another black exploitation film, and this is the one, the controversial film titled "The Soul of Edward Charlie." Now, this film stars Fred Williamson, and uh, this is the sequel to "The Legend of Edward Charlie." So. This seems like one of these films that Quentin Tarantino would possibly sample and remake or possibly make a modern version of, but I just want to know, before I tell you a little bit about the film and what I thought about it, who in their right mind thought to title this movie this way and uh, get away with it? I guess it, that's what attracted people to see the movie, but I would love to go back in time and just see somebody buy a ticket for this at the movie theaters. You know, just yeah. You know, give me a give me a ticket for uh, yeah. You know, with, give me a give me a ticket for uh, you know, the movie that's playing in Cinema Seven, sir. Can you state what feature film you'd like to see? Yeah, you know, give me the uh, give me the give me the ticket to the uh, you know, to the film that's playing in Cinema. Like you couldn't say the fucking name, or somebody would just clock you. But that's what I would just love to go back in time and see somebody try to buy a ticket for this film. Now. This film is the follow-up and the sequel to the original film. And uh, it's got pretty much the same cast, and the story continues with an escaped slave, Charlie, who is played by Fred Williamson, and his uh, teammate and fellow ex-slave, Toby, who is uh, also played by Derville Martin. And uh, in this film... The two escaped uh, slaves and friends now help a group of ex-slaves try to earn their freedom as they fight against a uh, ruthless ex-Civil War officer who wants to keep slavery alive and he wants to keep selling slaves to southern plantation owners down in Mexico. So they encounter a bunch of these um, uh, southerners who want to keep their uh, slavery alive and uh, Fred Williamson is out to stop them and free the rest of the men that are captured and are living the life of slavery. So the storyline was actually very interesting when I first read it, <clears throat> but I was not able to find a good quality uh, film. So I did see it was uh, like an old VHS tape of the film and it was kind of choppy, but overall... It was, it was okay. I would not recommend you guys watch it. The only reason I went out of my way to see it was because I wanted to see all three films. There is another one that makes a trilogy. I did rate it, and I was a little harsh on this one just because of the quality of the actual film. I gave it a 2 out of 10. Again, I like the storyline. I'm a fan of Fred Williamson. Um, the, the title was controversial, so I thought I'd go out and watch it, but I would definitely recommend people to go and see the... Uh, all three films and tell me what you thought if you guys have seen it before then tell me what your thoughts were and I just want to say thank you everybody for keep that keeps excuse me tuning in and watching the reviews and I'll be posting the final film review later on and also many more reviews to come so thanks again for tuning in and <laughs> uh, go out there and see this film if you guys haven't already goodbye until next time